But I want to ask you about Jared Goff, because I was thinking, I was like, oh, yes, Michael Silver's coming on the show. Me and Hamilton are sitting there and sort of thinking about, I rem you know, I, you, when the, this whole thing happened with the, Rom, with the Rams shipping um, Jared Goff off for basically nothing and all, whatever, it was all like, there was a lot of like, not anti-Jared Goff, but it, it was definitely like an underwhelming situation for his side. You never saw that perspective. Do you feel like vindication now? Like, how are you feeling about, because it's, it's something that, you know, the question that, that I have in here, were you surprised he became a success? I know the answer to that. You're not surprised. But do you feel vindicated because it, it has all worked out and he has shown that he is that dude? Well, obviously, I feel vindicated because it's all about me. But on a more uh, important note, I, I'm really proud of Jared because I've known him since he's, you know, a really young guy. And one thing that struck me at Cal, you know, we always joke, uh, I met him and his parents after a really unfortunate day uh, that included a big game loss to our rival Stanford. And I didn't handle it well. And I always joke that he handled it a lot better than I did, even though he played in the game. And I just saw, you know, a lot of these guys who end up going first overall and, and having that uh, road to the NFL paved in glory uh, didn't have real adversity, at least in college. And Jared Goff really did. He was 1-11 uh, as a freshman, got pulled out of a game in Oregon in the rain because it was such a disaster, tore up his shoulder in a rivalry game. Uh, and never really had that smooth reality. Was it was it a big recruit? Um, and his first year with the Rams was brutal. So I've always felt that his calm demeanor and really his ability to be introspective when things are breaking down, look at himself, not put it on others, and just try to get better would carry him through ultimately. And he did not get put into a great situation in Detroit. Take the public perception out of it, mm. which was that, ah, they threw him in and they had to pay an extra first round pick just to get out of his contract. Nobody wants him. But, you know, that Lions team had not won much. Dan Campbell was coming in with a lot of hope, but no uh, real credibility. And they had a rough first year uh, and, and they hung tough. And, you know, he's been... You know, he and Ben Johnson have formed such a nice partnership. Twice Ben Johnson has turned down potential head co coaching opportunities to stay. And Jared's really upped his game. So, uh, you know, he doesn't make a lot of noise about it, but he's got a lot of pride. And I, I really think other than staying calm under fire, his best quality is he does look at himself mm. and he does honestly try to to use these experiences to improve.